You do not want to be renting from Mr. Trudeau here or Mr. David Eby. You do not want to be renting from the government last, especially not a left-wing radical socialist NDP government. All right, wanted to respond to a comment on my channel. I appreciate your guys' comments here, but this guy was an NDP supporter, definitely a left-wing socialist here, and big proponent of the Liberals and Mr. Trudeau and the David Eby and the NDP, and pretty long-winded email, but I'm just going to try and get into the main points here. Uh, firstly, this guy's a huge proponent of the spec tax the vacancy taxes and the Airbnb bans and all that. We're going to hammer the free market into submission with taxes and regulations, which I've said from the very beginning is not going to work. I'm a free market guy. I believe that the free enterprise is going to, that's the only way we're going to build enough homes in Canada and in BC. Uh, but this guy, you know, hardcore socialist, he thinks that the government, uh, they're going to provide affordable housing here. Now, for those of you that believe this, you know, there's a great quote by a um, uh, conservative candidate here, John Rustad, and he says that trusting government really to run anything um, is kind of like giving yourself a blood transfusion from the left arm to the right arm, only most of it ends up on the ground. And he's right. It's not the most efficient way to de deliver these kinds of services. That's why we have a free market enterprise system. But this guy mentioned the Singapore model as evidence that government can build affordable homes for everyone. And I wanted to get into this here because, you know, the Singapore model, I actually just had a client just got back from Singapore and he told me, Jay, the prices there are absolutely eye-watering. They're astronomical. If you think Vancouver is expensive, go look at the prices in Singapore. But what this guy was talking about was government housing. And there's a big, you know, it sounds too good to be true because it is. What this is, it's actually leasehold. In other words, the government retains ownership of that land. They own the dirt, which is what appreciates. The condo, or I guess they call it a flat over there, is really a depreciating liability. You know, you'll see that on your property assessment every year. There's a component for the land and a component for um, the structure. And every, just about every year, the land will increase and the uh, value of that building will actually decrease, okay? So you don't really own anything with a leasehold property. The government owns it. It would, so... How this would work is the government uh, would subcontract a private developer because you still need private in industry to build these uh, units, and then it would be offered on a 99-year lease. So these would be leasehold. And if you think that leasehold property is a solution to the housing crisis here, give me a call because I can tell you there's a number of listings. I could get you into a one-bedroom unit in the West End with spectacular unobstructed views of English Bay, probably for the mid 300s, 350, 360K. The caveat though is it's a leasehold property. You don't really own it. Matter of fact, you'd be better to buy something in maybe out towards um, an older unit out towards New Westminster. That would be a far better investment. Now that same unit on the West End in a freehold is going to be I don't even know if you could get six fifty, seven, seven hundred and fifty thousand, right? So leasehold is is far less expensive, but you don't own the land, which is what appreciates. But this is the direction that Canada is moving in. If you've paid attention to Trudeau's latest announcement here, the federal government, um, it, they're going to move. Uh, they're moving in this direction, and the catch though is it's all going to be leasehold. It's going to be the government will will own the land and you will basically rent from the government. It's really just a glorified form of renting is all it is. Example of this would be the SINAC development. Uh, I applaud the First Nations for getting this project built because we do need the housing. Um, but there's always a catch here. And first of all, you have to allow, in, to, in order to entice these developers to get interested in, in, a, in a project like this, you have to allow far, far higher densification, far higher density allowances. 
they've also allowed for far less um, uh, parking requirements. So I don't know how people are going to get around. Uh, I guess according to these guys, the lefties, we're just all going to ride our bikes. Don't know how that's going to work. I mean, we live in a rainforest here. But of course, the big the big one was Sinak, spectacular development, amazing architecture. But you know, again, that's going to be leasehold. You are going to be basically renting from the government there. And this is something the lefties and the socialists don't mention here. There's always a catch. So is there a place for that type of product in the mix? Maybe you could argue there is. But I've always been a proponent of home ownership. I think Canadians should, you should own your home. You do not want to be renting from Mr. Trudeau here or Mr. David Eby. You do not want to be renting from the government. Last, especially not a left-wing radical socialist NDP government. You want to own your home here. I'm Jay Cooper. Feel free to comment below or subscribe. See you in the next video.